<laughs> you go to anywhere else and people are. Seems so easy, hit after hit. That's another number one single. Their sophomore album soon to be released. Please welcome Naz and Ben from Magic. Guys, thank you for being here. I know you were busy, you know, with the Jays last night throwing out the first pitch. How did, was that exciting? Did you practice? Uh, Alex got to throw the pitch, our drummer. Okay. Um, <laughs> and he did a great job. He threw a strike. They said it was the best pitch of the year. Oh, good. Because we see how people are shamed when they do a lousy job <laughs> at right. throwing pitches, right? That's so right. I'm glad that went well. Talk to us, first of all, congratulations. You guys were here a few years ago um, with Rude, and we saw what happened. Number one in Canada, number one in the U.S., and 40 other countries. Oh my gosh, did you ever expect that sort of world domination? Um, you know, you always hope for it, but you don't really know there's the song. Right? Uh, you don't really know which song will work, you know? So when Rude worked, we were just like, okay, this is, this is it. This is the start of this next chapter as musicians. All of a sudden, you're on New Year's Rock and Eva Seacrest. Do that's right. Do your right. T-Swift. No big deal. Yeah, and right. we love that you guys are Toronto-born and proud gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And here you are, such a huge success. I think your music speaks to so many, and including your latest with Primary Colors. Talk to us about Lay You Down Easy and how the collaboration came to be with Sean Paul. Um, with Sean Paul, it was great. I mean, we did it. We actually did it in a very futuristic way. We sent him an email. Really? And uh, yeah, I mean that's how the song was recorded because he was in Jamaica doing it, and we were in LA. And uh, but we got to meet him when we shot the video, and and um, you know just got to hang out and get to know each other, and talked about hopefully getting to perform together sometime soon. I was gonna say the yeah. video has that organic making of feel, like you guys are just jamming in studio yeah. organically, and then he rolls in and lays down his track. <laughs> so when you made or wrote this song, did you do you think of his voice? In the parts that he like, does he just come in and no, do his? How does that work? It was after. It was after the thought. The song was already written, and then we left the space open in the bridge section for him mm -hmm. to come in. And originally, it was me singing the la 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 lay down easy, and then I was like, you know, can you give me that too? And then he just sounded so perfect. So it ended up being a, 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 a nice fit. Yeah. So how do you feel this whole album is playing out? Because I read somewhere now that you said you feel like we're getting to know you a little bit more personally and the band. Yeah, I mean, you know, as, as when it comes to songwriting, you know, you, I have the freedom to tell whatever story that I want to tell. And there are fictional stories. There's songs like Gloria. It's about like a cheating girl named Gloria. But then there's personal songs like uh, a song called No Regrets, a song called No Sleep. I recently had a baby. Oh, congratulations. Little, little, little baby boy, thank you. Oh, what's his name? Uh, his name is Noah. Adorable. Uh, thank oh, you. Yeah, that's um, adjustments. <laughs> right? That's right. Adding to the Canadian population. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and uh, and so and so like you know you're naturally writing about these significant things in your life, but in a fun way. The song is called No Sleep because I was I was getting no sleep. Um, but then there's a lot of musical sides of it that the that the guys are contributing, you know, because you know these guys have jazz backgrounds and and have performed for years and and so you hear you hear Paul Simon stuff you hear. Little Michael Jackson rhythmic elements. No hear. jazz though. No jazz. There's no jazz. jazz on the album. There's no jazz on the album, but you, you, they're 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 very good musicians. So yeah. you know, you hear this quality to the way they play, um, and um, I feel very lucky. You know that I get to have the freedom to do what I want to do and know that you know we back each other up. Um, You're supported. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's just the album really is awesome. Yeah. We just love it, and we chose ten songs out of like seventy to ninety. <laughs> like well, I was going to ask you because I heard secondary songs. colors is already so already well, done. Its way. So yeah, is sure. that an evolution and a follow up very much so to primary? It is. It might be like a deluxe version of it, or it might just be the next record. Okay, yeah. guys. Because there are so to this. many songs. That's a good problem to have, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, you're going to warm up because coming up, guys. First of all, you want to pick up primary it. colors. It's out July 1st, and you are performing Lay You Down Easy in just a little bit. So stick around. I heard your sound check. You guys don't need any warming up. You sound amazing. So that's coming up in a little bit.